for many years now, I've helped people find their freedom in Christ and their identity and their position in Christ firmly established within them. Listen to what Paul says, Colossians chapter 1, 13 and 14. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the Son he loves, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Let me just share two stories that are quite extreme. One typifies those who are really coming out of total darkness, and then probably the average Christian that struggles in our churches. Here's a chaplain in a prison ministry. He said, I attended your conference this past spring. I wanted you to know this made a tremendous impact on my ministry. As a chaplain, most of the people I deal with are in bondage of some sort. I've had several opportunities to take inmates through the steps to freedom. Each time the individual has found freedom from bondage in his life. Your ministry is going to revolutionize my ministry. It hits right at the core of all the warfare issues. One man who went through the steps to freedom was named Frederick. He was originally from South America and had experienced every evil thing you could imagine. His parents were involved with witch doctors, so was he. For many years he was a hit man for organized crime, had shot or stabbed many people. His body was full of evil tattoos, dragons, snakes, 666. He had been involved in every sexual perversion possible with men and women, including being a male prostitute. He got involved in Satan worship. Although Frederick received Christ three and a half years ago at a Christian halfway house, he was still oppressed, constantly hearing voices telling him to hurt people. Many times while in bed, he felt someone trying to strangle him. He often saw spirits appear beside him. Several weeks ago, I took him through the steps to freedom. He received immediate freedom and has never heard voices or seen spirits since that time. Praise God. Now here's another young lady, college student at the time, came from a good family. She said, when we met together, the Lord, Lord released me totally from Satan's grip on me. I can't explain it, and sometimes it's embarrassing to try, but my head feels totally free. There are no more voices or feelings of heaviness on my brain, only a physical release over my whole being. Many times Satan has tried to come back and clobber me with old negative thoughts about God and my relationship with him. But Satan's hold on my life has been able to return. So much has happened since we prayed that it would take pages and pages to write it all down. I had honestly felt there was no one to turn to and no one who could understand what I was feeling inside. P.S. She said, it's been wonderful and exciting to face and deal with problems with a clear head. That's what God has given us, redeemed and totally forgiven. Thanks for following Freedom in Christ Ministries. If you enjoyed watching or listening to this teaching, please follow and share us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.